I want you to know that people don't remember what you say or what you do. They remember how you make them feel. What's up, my friends? Welcome to the You Are The Rockstar Show. This is episode 21, Life Changes. It's pretty fitting for this time and the beginning of a new year. I know a lot of people have been going through some pretty intense changes. Um, I'm one of them. And I want to share something that I think is very important to reflect on during um, life-changing time periods. But first of all, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you to everyone who's reached out to me with a comment or a message um, saying how much I've impacted you in your life, whether it's sharing meditations, um, yoga flows, my books, hugs at meet and greets, eye contact on stage, you're just vibing out. Um, it really means a lot to me. And I have a secret that I need to share with you guys um, before we get into this concept that I think we can all embrace as things are changing and navigate the tides in an easier way. When I started learning about yoga, meditation, and mindfulness, I became obsessed with sharing these tools. Why? Well, they changed my life. I went from having debilitating low back pain and it being hard to just get out of bed to being totally fluid with my movements, no pain, feeling great. And I also was able to be more aware of not just myself, but the people around me. And it impacted how I perform on stage with listening to other people playing or um, kind of more in tune with the energy that is all around, whether it's coming from the audience or um, it's coming from within myself. I was just more of a fine tuned antenna and I was able to pick up on that and reflect it back to people in a way. So also a mirror and this idea that I got from this experience of up leveling my life was what would happen if I invested in the people that invested in me? See, we were going on tour all over the world and people were investing time, energy, money into us living the dream or living our dream. And I had this idea, well, what if I invest in the people that invest in me? I don't really see too many other bands doing that in the form of mind, body, spirit, because music is transcendent. It helps us through difficult times. It helps us through um, realizing that we are good enough when we're in times of despair or depression and it helps us to, to, to power through and motivate us to do things we might not normally do. And I just wondered, hey, if I empower those or at least give the opportunity, you know, just open the door to potential and share the tools that helped me, I wondered what would happen. And it turned into something that was an experiment for me and this whole investment in the people that invest in me spawned my mindful meetups which you might have joined me on tour where we did mindful practices anything from goal setting to mindfulness to yoga to meditation we would meet up anywhere from coffee shops to parks to yoga studios and just try some things on to see if they worked for us and I learned a lot from doing that. I learned the techniques and tools that resonated most with you all. And what did I do with those? Well, I turned them into two books so far. And they're filled with stories and techniques that were the most impactful from that trial by fire time period. From there, we have this podcast, which is a way that I've enjoyed sharing my voice and connecting with you. But that all came from this idea of what if I invest in the people that are investing in me? Now, another way to look at this idea is to say, how can I serve? Which is a very profound concept because it takes the me out of it in the form of you are showing up for someone else and their development and empowerment. And we all have egos, but I think this is a great way to keep our ego in check by investing in people. And I think that transcends and helps us to evolve any limitations in our life because we're all connected. So when we show up, whether it's for us, whether it's for our family, our community, maybe our country or the world, when we do that selflessly, we significantly uplevel our lives 
because we're showing up in a higher vibration, being an example of what is possible. And I just need to reflect back to you right now that the messages that I've gotten and the comments since announcing this transitional period in my life have been beyond humbling. Um, I've legit choked up, uh, cried a couple times um, just from nostalgia and just hearing how impactful those experiences were for a lot of you. It just brings me so much joy to know that the experiment worked and it's going to continue to work because I have no plans of stopping. I'm just going to take some time to process, reflect, reevaluate, and then decide how I want to contribute moving forward. And this is episode 21 of the You Are The Rockstar show. And I told myself at the beginning of this podcast, my goal was to get to 21 episodes. And then I would check in and see, um, you know, is it something I really enjoy doing? Do you all get value from it? And this is going to be the last episode for this season. So season one, You Are The Rockstar show, this will be the last episode. And I appreciate you all for tuning into these because they've been a great way to connect and share and kind of unpack the ideas that I talk about in my You Are The Rockstar book series. With that being said, I'm going to take this time to process and reevaluate and come back with a season two at some point um, in the future. It won't be that long, but I just need to take some time to process, reevaluate, um, you know, catch my breath and, you know, prepare for this new period in my life, which I'm very excited about. And which leads me to the concept that I think everyone can embrace and practice during changing times, which we all experience because change is inevitable. It legitimately is the only constant in life and it can be scary. So I want you guys to remember that in those moments where it's very challenging, it can be difficult to practice this, but I really encourage you to try. And that's trust. Doing your best to trust in the form of sometimes trust falling and the universe catching you, believing that it will catch you. It's a very hard thing to do, but something that when we step into it, the action behind that allows us to say yes. And the universe responds to those that stay in action. Now it can be scary when we're choosing a different path or we're saying goodbye to an old one, but I just really encourage you to practice trust practice this idea of trust falling if you feel change coming up and it being uncomfortable for you no matter what change will always offer the opportunity if you choose to see it as one to pivot and become better if we move towards the light then we will constantly keep growing and keep evolving and keep getting better at what we're doing but we have to make a choice a conscious choice to keep going and it might take some time. We have to sometimes process, but moving back to move forward, it's part of life. And just like a slingshot gets pulled back before it launches off, sometimes we have to go back and reflect on the things that we've done and then launch off, choose a new direction. But I wanna let you know that my direction is going to be similar to what I've been doing, just in a higher capacity. And I'm working on a lot of different things right now, and I'm really excited to share them with you really soon. But this episode is dedicated to you guys and the reflections that you've offered me, um, the impact and positivity that you've brought to my life by allowing me to share the things that I'm passionate about and the things that um, were an experiment to me and will continue to be. But you made the experiment something that worked you know it was like i had a hypothesis but i didn't know if investing in people the way they invested in me would pay off but with hundreds and hundreds of comments and messages and texts that i've gotten from people who i've had an impact in their lives i can say with confidence that the time and energy that was put into that was a co-creation on both of our parts and to know that you took some of the tools, you know, the, the doorways that were opened and made them your own by walking through them is so damn powerful and so damn inspiring to me. And it just makes me proud to be alive. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything. This is not goodbye. This is legitimately just 
see you soon <laughs> on to the next one and feel free to come along because we're all connected and if i've had any any small impact in your life a large impact um no impact at all it's all good um just want you to remember that when things change turn to trust turn to this trust fall this surrender and see what the universe has to offer because when we say yes and stay in action usually the magic happens but you all know that because i've talked about it so much on this show actions where the magic happens and you all know that so thank you for being you and allowing me to be me and remember that nothing lasts forever and that's okay and nothing stays forever and that's also okay but just remember that impermanence it's just part of our human experience and being afraid or being scared of change or the idea of what you thought something was not being it anymore is just part of being human it's part of this human experience and what can we do when this stuff comes up we turn to trust and again it can be easier said than done but it's a practice for a reason we grow we learn we we practice trust we develop it like a muscle over time trust that there is something greater working for you rather than against you trust in the people who see you and who have your back because those are the real ones those are the ones to hold on to the ride or die show up no matter what always be there always making sure that you're relatively okay because sometimes we're not and that's okay too and trust that we're being guided towards a brighter light we don't have to know what it is we just have to trust and take action and so two weeks ago I shared this um, little caption that I want to share with you in my weekly email which you can sign up for on my website if you scroll to the bottom just go to youaretherockstar.com or woodywoodrow.com and scroll to the bottom you can sign up for my weekly email get notifications from me each week good vibes in your inbox and I just want to share this with you right now to dwell is to live in the past be grateful life happened magic was created blessings come in many shapes and sizes sometimes even wrapped in sandpaper be proud of what was but more importantly be excited for what's to come are you willing to say yes when the universe invites you to level up think about it I know it can be hard to believe that the universe is working for us sometimes if you feel this way turn to the concept of trust and explore what lights you up see how it feels you have what you need it's okay to take some time to reevaluate to process and take aim just know there is a greater plan for you guided by a force beyond your comprehension surrender into it you are the rock star keep it up thank you so much for seeing me and thank you so much for allowing me to see you together we make magic happen in the universe and we up level the entire vibration and the frequency of everyone we come in contact with and when we do it consistently we change the vibration of the planet so you might have thought that you know joining my yoga classes or reading my books or joining even this podcast was just a casual thing but you're part of something greater and I just want you to know that I'm just a reflection of you and I'll continue to be but just keep taking your power on and remembering you're the only one that can do it for you you are the rock star keep it up I love you all and let's drop into a meditation because you know that's what we do on this podcast so right where you're at find yourself in a comfortable position if you can close your eyes take a nice deep breath in from your nose followed by a super slow relaxed exhale from your mouth big breath in from your nose really slow exhale from your mouth just relax big 
big breath in, biggest one you can, fill up with air. Slowest, most relaxed breath out from your mouth that you can. Just let the air fall from your lips. And when you're ready, gently come back to the present moment. Open your eyes if they were closed. Remember that power you always have, that tool of connection to your breath. And shout out to the Presence app an app that has really epic reminders to be present throughout your day, writing prompts, as well as meditations and different things you can do to make your experience in this life a little bit more juicy, feel good. So check it out. I got some meditations on there. There's a link below and you can get a trial and see if you like it. I love you all. I will see you on the next season of You Are The Rockstar Show. But until then, just know that I love you and I will see you soon. Peace.